So what does the real estate agent do versus what does the homeowner do when selling the property? So uh, that's good because um, some people feel as though you're the one who's getting paid. First of all, they look at that gross commission and they say, you know, like I just, this week I had a $150,000 piece of land. And that seller kept on going, you're the one who's getting $15,000. You're getting $15,000. You need to be doing this. You need to be doing this. And like, like I said before, I don't get the whole $15,000, but, but let's just, let's just look at, at what is supposed to be done uh, by the agent. The agent is supposed to evaluate your property. That's what I do. I go out there, I look at it. I come up with a price. I give recommendations. Um, you know, if it's a house, we might be fixing some things. If it's land, we have to get it prepared. We might have to get a perk site for it, whatever. So, so my job is to give, uh, evaluate and give you recommendations, what things we should or shouldn't do to get the most um, reward in selling your property. And then, you know, the second main thing that we're responsible for is marketing the property. I got to get it out there. I am an advertising guy that specializes in real estate. So I'm going to put it on. 800 different websites. I'm going to have a professional photographer. We might be utilizing drone photography. I'm going to come up with brochures. I'm going to make sure that all the data about your property is out there and easily accessible to other clients and other agents. Um, so preparation and then advertising. And then as we get the offers in, I'm there to advise you on the offer. This is a good offer. This is a bad offer. You know, they're offering these terms or offering these terms. And um, I help you in the negotiations of the offers. Um, uh, you know, if somebody comes in, if it's a $300,000 house and somebody comes in at $200,000, we're probably not going to counter. But if somebody, you know, it's 300, somebody comes in at 280 um, and it's only been on the market for a week, we might come back at 298 and say, you know, you're way off, but we're willing to work with you. I mean, there's different languages and, and tells in the, in the back and forth of the negotiations. Um, and then uh, we've talked about uh, due diligence, whether that be land or residential. The buyer has time to inspect the property, and uh, usually that's when they find out all these things that are wrong with your property. There's land, oh gosh, we came in at this price, but now that we found out about this, it's not worth it. And the same thing with the house. We thought, we thought your house was beautiful and da 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 Now we found out all these things are wrong with it. So then that's round two of negotiations. And, and so, you know, that's what, that's what we do as agents. What the seller is supposed to do is uh, sign their paperwork, <laughs> get their paperwork done, because we really can't move forward without a buyer's agency agreement, a working with agents agreement, a, 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 a listing agreement. You, you have to have your stuff done. There might be an estate, you have to have the deed transferred over, it might be a divorce or whatever. You, that's your responsibility to get that stuff done. And we can assist you with it, but that's your responsibility. Prepare the home, you know, or prepare the property. If I say, look, you have to get a perk permit, or look, you have to paint the porch, that's, that's on you, that's what you, I don't paint your porch. I mean, my job is to advise you that this is what will get you more money. Has anybody asked you to paint the porch? Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah, just like, I just a beautiful house at the lake last week and everything. I gave the, the very nice lady a long list of what we needed to do to prepare the home. And she's like, well, you know, you'll come over and do it because you'll make more money if it sells for more. <laughs> like, I mean, I am not going to make more, the percentage more, you know, I'm going to make 3% more of, you know, it's going to sell for 10,000 more. That is not worth me coming out and painting your porch. That's not what I do. Right. Um, but, but if it made you $10,000 more, I would think, you know, you would find somebody to get it done and fewer days on the market. So it's your job to prepare the property. It's your job to, to pay the people that need to get paid. Um, it's your job to provide documentation. Sometimes there'll be things that come up, you know, the permit or um, uh, proof that you made a repair or whatever. And then, you know, you either have to go to the closing or you have to make arrangements for your deed and your paperwork to get to the closing. So, you know, none of that's my job. That's your job. Uh, but, you know, if you're in a bind or out of state or whatever, we'll do whatever we can to assist in that, but um, uh, those are the differences in the roles. I'm supposed to prepare, market, and negotiate. Unfortunately, uh, it is a team effort 
the, the sellers have or the buyers have a lot they have to do as well.